Hello everybody and welcome to another video. This one's going to be a bit different because um, I'm going searching for ghosts. Um, I'm not sure, or spirits, or whatever you want to believe. I'm a huge skeptic, so uh, we probably won't see anything, but if anything does happen, it'll be very interesting. Um, I don't know why it was wobbling so much, sorry about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've, um, I'm in a little place called Bulcha Kibai now. I'm just going to walk around their churchyard quickly. Uh, it's not quite dark yet, but there's a few uh, churchyards that I want to visit. And then um, we're going to go to an old house. Uh, it's an old house that I used to live in. Um, so full disclosure, it's probably not haunted. Um, but it has been empty for six months now. So that could be interesting as well. So stay tuned and we'll see what we see if we see anything at all. Right. Before we go into the church proper, or the churchyard, let's see if we can get something on the outside of this wall. It's a bit dubious as a bus right there. Yeah, it's still quite light at the moment. I think it does. Yes, it does. Okay. Right. Let's give this a scan now, shall we? EMF. Very bright. Nothing so far. Just been quiet. I wonder if we go in here. Could be electrical interference. But that was that was quite special. Just try, try again. Huh. Okay, a bit, a bit. It was cold. It felt cold there as well. Hmm. Don't know. Yeah. So that could be electrical interference. Most likely is. But. That was a bit suspect, seeing it didn't look like anything's on in there. But it didn't light up anywhere else. Interesting, it's not quite dark yet, so I don't want to hang about and people will wonder what I'm up to. Well, that was, uh, that was quite interesting, wasn't it? Didn't uh, expect that to happen. Very, uh, oh god, you're gonna get so much glare off my glasses. Um, but yeah, that, that was a bit interesting, wasn't it? Alright, I'm not sure uh, what I'm gonna do now. Uh, there was a, a couple of churches further away that I was gonna go and visit. I probably won't do that now, because um, not that time's getting on, but um, they're sort of up dwindly back lanes which I'm not gonna attempt this evening <laughs> so we've got a few more to hit up it's now uh, quarter to five so sunset was about an hour a half an hour ago um, or 20 minutes ago so we are losing the light now um, hopefully by the time I get to uh, the next one it'll be uh, be quite dark uh, I'll film where I can with this light so you can see me when I'm talking to you but it might be tricky because uh, they're right in the middle of villages. <laughs> these churches that I'm going to. Right, let's um, go to the next place. Okay, we won't stop long here because I'm parked on the main road. Which, as you can imagine, is a bit sus. Uh, right.
Come on, come on by now. Ooh. Got something here, and there's this door here, though. Could be something to do with that. Um, doesn't appear to be any uh, other activity here, so I'm going to move on to the next place, which is uh, in Sanrada Machnand. Is anybody there? Is it these solar lights? This is the churchyard of uh, Sanroder Machnant. Um, so we just go have a walk through here. I can't see anything. No, no, I think that was just a three. So this is the edge of the uh, churchyard now, so we'll just go through this gate if we can. Oh, it opens this side. I'll go check out down this bridge just in case there's something down here. This creepy old abandoned thingy here. Nah, there's nothing. Right, we'll go back to the churchyard. I don't know if you can make out the light on the clock. <laughs> oh, that's probably the security light. But... Oh, that made me jump. <laughs> okay, so this is London House. It's quite an old establishment, as you can imagine. Um, so we'll get all of the equipment out for this one. Uh, I've got with me a, <laughs> I've got with me um, a thermometer, so we can see if there's any uh, chills in the air, as it were. Um, <coughs> and we can have a look uh, at uh, with the black light as well. So uh, let me get my stuff sorted, and we'll do all that. Right, I've got my um, light on the lowest setting I can. And I've got this one with me now, which isn't as bright. Let's go check in here first, before we go upstairs. I don't know if you can see anything. Oh my god, that was... There was a door closing on me. It scared me on its own. Right, let's have that stay open. There we go, it's open now. 
Is there anyone here? Just like I say, got my head torch on the lowest setting. Now there's a window outside here. Nothing down here. Oh. Don't know what that was. Creepy, creepy. Uh, and here's the cellar. We won't go down into the cellar. I don't even know if we can open the door. Let's see if we can get a bit more light so you can see. There's coke bottles and stuff down there. Hmm. Yes. Let's not go in there. I don't think I've ever been in there, shall we? What's this? Looks like rat droppings. That could be. That's almost definitely certainly likely. But yeah, there's. I'm not going to go down in there. I don't. It's not very nice down there. It's a bit messy. <laughs> shall we? That's not much of a. I've never. I've never been down there, but, oh well, we're not going to go. I'm going to fancy bumping my head in there. Right. Excellent. Moving on. Right, unfortunately the key I've got for the middle floor doesn't seem to work. So, um, that's the wrong key. So we can't go into this section, but all that was really in here was um, was a lounge uh, and a kitchen, basically. Not not a lot to see. So, we'll go up here. Oh, it doesn't actually matter because this panel's still off. <laughs> okay then. Let's do the ground floor with the, with the EMF to begin with. I'm only using the light on the, so I've got my head torch, yes, but I'm only using the light on the camera for, and that's just for recording, but uh, yeah, here's a big empty room, what I'll be tempted to do is we'll take this one with us and we'll leave the stupidly bright one here, is anybody here? Is anybody in here? Is anybody here? Nope, doesn't look like. It's a dressing room. This place has been empty for about six months now. Um, oh, my watch just went off. <laughs> in here. Okay, nothing coming up on the EMF. That EMF hasn't done anything since I came in here. Um, we'll go upstairs in a bit. We won't go into there because that's still, there's still a... There's still a shop under there. Sorry, I thought I heard a noise, like a knocking. What was that? Something went off then. Oh! oh I don't know. Weird. Right, no joy so far with the with the EMFs, I was going to say. Um, what I'll do is we'll leave that there. Um, and whilst we're on the ground floor, we'll check out some other stuff. Um, the heating has been off, so I imagine it's going to be cold in here. But let's see if there's anywhere that's particularly cold. Drops a bit here, but that's to be expected. It's an external wall. And in here. Again. Oh, no, okay. 
just in here. No, it's fine too. Um, I'm gonna hurry it up because obviously this it might be a bit boring if nothing happens. Um, yeah, EMF's not doing anything. Okay. And back out here. Nothing, the boiler's kicked in, that's all that noise is. Um, so I might not bother with the thermometer anyway because I don't think it's going to show much. Can you see anything with a black light? Oh, well, you can. Ooh. Okay, so I don't expect to see much. <laughs> Weird. There's something on the door. I'm not quite sure what I'm expecting the black light to show. You won't see much, I don't think. Oops. Right, okay, let's go and have a look upstairs. Because oh, it's just stuff on doors. And handprints. Creepy, what is that? Oh, it's the shower. <laughs> It's the uh, back of the shower. Right, okay. Nothing down here. We're going to go and have a look upstairs and see if we can see anything up there. <laughs> up the stairs. Oh. Both EMFs on. I don't need... We can put... Put one on top of George here. Yeah? Right. In here first. Nope. Okay then, through to the kitchen. Feels colder up here. I don't know if there's a reason for that. Nothing in here. The bathroom. Nope. through this door then. How you doing there George, you okay? Good, 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 right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's come back to that one. I'm getting chills now, and I'm multiplying. And I'm losing control. Okay, well, I'm quite relieved that nothing's going on up in here. This used to be my bedroom. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, you can see outside into oh, nothing. Uh, in here, nothing. Is anybody there? Is anybody here? In here, it's kind of the creep factor's not really maximised because all the <laughs> lights coming in. Oh well, nothing, nothing on the EMF at all. Like I say, it does feel cold in here, but I guess that's to be expected. Nothing in the cupboard. Finally, in here. What's in here? Yeah, probably nothing but spiders, to be honest. And finally, up here. The door doesn't want to stay open. Well, there's no way in hell I'm going up there without the door staying open. Right, madness into the attic. <sighs> Which is, as you'd expect, 
Empty, nothing. Right. Didn't I shut that door? <laughs> oh. Creeping myself out now. Right? Got those cables sharp, don't they? Oh. What is that? Oh. Well, there's a blob or something there, but you can't. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can see it. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Some kitchen related nightmare, probably. Gordon Ramsay would be proud. Right, okay then. Um, we haven't seen or anything uh, on any of the readers really in the house, which I would expect to be honest because, um, well, I'll shut this behind us. Um, because there's uh, little to no um, electrical equipment on to, to set these off, I suppose. Uh, so, um, That'll probably be why we're not, not seeing anything. I'm still very much a skeptic. I'm not sure if, if a six months vacancy is enough. Um, my mum, uh, when she lived here, did seem to think that there was a lady uh, roaming around one night, or a, a presence of a lady, and it was in this top section when, when she used to be up here. Um, and... And I, I remember she said something about a dog as well. And we used to have um, we used to have a family dog as well who passed away on the premises. Uh, I haven't had anything like a feeling or anything like that, so I'm not sure what I believe. Um, the, the weirdest thing probably was uh, in the cemetery, but again, I feel like I can explain those. So um, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll have to see if I can find some more haunted places. This has kind of been inspired by uh, haunted houses, which was something that we did, uh, me and, fr and some friends did on um, Halloween, or round about Halloween, uh, where we went to Plaza San in Ruabon. Uh, it's, a, it's a haunted house. Um, couldn't really film in there because it's National Trust or uh, and somebody's residence and they didn't want it being filmed so that's fair enough. We have talked about maybe doing Shrewsbury Prison at some point and I hear that that is available to film so um, who knows maybe in the future uh, sometime but um, I will have to keep you posted. I'll try this sort of thing again if uh, if it's up anyone's street. Uh, like I say, not really sure how I feel. I think I'm still a, a skeptic, but when the when the weird things go up and happen and you can't explain it, that's what what interests me because I, I feel like there is an explanation. We just need to find it. Um, but anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And I will see you in another one. Goodbye. Why are you still filming?